Hello students, we are going to run a search from the Moody Library Classic Browse Catalog. So going to hbu.edu forward slash Moody. We're going to click on Find Books and Media on the left side of the web page. You will see several choices as you scroll down. You will see the classic keyword search and the classic browse search, namely a call number search, and then there's other uh, searches that you can run. We're going to use the classic browse search for this class. So clicking on the classic browse search, I'm first going to run an author search. So changing the drop down menu to author and making sure you've got the browse uh, button marked. We're going to run a search for Robert Graham. Since Graham's, uh, Robert Graham's last name is Graham, we're going to put Graham first, comma, space, Robert. This is the same way you would format a subject search when you're looking for something about an author. But for now, we're going to run an author search. So we're looking for books written by Robert Graham. As you can see, there are several Robert Grahams. The one I want is this Robert Graham editor. And now I've pulled up the record for a book by Robert Graham, Sports Related Confessions in Youth, Improving That's the Science, Changing the Culture. This you're looking at here is actually the brief record. You can see there's a call number here, but you don't really need this call number because this is an ebook. That means you can get to this book from home or on campus, wherever you are, as long as you've got the internet and you can log in with your HBU portal, same things used for the portal, or your HBU network information. So you see, uh, this is the brief record. If you click on the classic, I'm sorry, the catalog record, you will get the full record uh, that the, that the uh, database or the catalog uses to search for whatever you type in. We ran an author search, so therefore it used this record to pull up books by Robert Graham. I'm going to go back to item information and click on the URL and you can see that it opened another page and now it's opening the book record from eBrary and you would get into this by actually reading online here or running a full download. Now I'm on campus so it's not asking me to log in. Closing that window I'm going to run a new search for another author. I'm going to search for a book by Nathaniel Hawthorne. So we're going to type in Hawthorne, comma, space, Nathaniel, drop down menu to author. And again, if you were looking for something about Nathaniel Hawthorne, you would use the drop down menu and pick subject. But now we're looking for books by Nathaniel Hawthorne. So we're using author and we've got the browse um, button marked. And now we've got 56 books by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And we have other books here that are pulled out here. If you want Scarlet Letter, you'll just click here. But if you want to see all the books that we have by Nathaniel Hawthorne, you click on this and you will get a list of all the books we have. Now several, several of them are going to be ebooks, so you can see eBrary in front of the call number. And here you see eBrary again under the call number. These are electronic books. The interesting thing about these books is even though they're electronic with the call number, you could actually run upstairs and go to the PS 1861 and see more books by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Here's another one, PS 1872. So there's different call number areas that you can go upstairs and browse, even though these are online books. And now I'm not saying that these are actually in print upstairs because they're not, they're online, but they still have the same subject heading in the call number. So you could use this call, call number to find more books by Nathaniel Hawthorne. 